Hey, good morning. Are they letting people in right now? Um, only if you have a reservation. What are you here for? Did you, did you hear about this, uh, like the NBA starting the bubble today? There's like uh, there's like 22 teams that have been quarantined in a bubble inside Disney. I guess like Major League Soccer is also doing it, but then like, so there's 22 teams that are gonna have a short, short end of the season and then go right into playoffs. So they're staying at like the Grand Floridian, uh, the Grand Torino, which is like the new hotel and the Yacht Club. And like if they leave, like they get, have to get quarantined. Like, so some people were like leaving to go for family emergencies and they have to be quarantined for 10 days. So they, so they start their games tonight, and it's funny because like reading through, through some of the Twitter, like so many people would love to get quarantined at Disney World, but like some of them are complaining, some of them are pretty stoked about it. But I think it's kind of funny. We should go, you, you wanna go try to like pop the bubble? See if we can get in? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go drive over there, see what we can see. Well, dude, so they own, they own ESPN, right? So if people aren't watching ESPN, because there's no sports going on. That's obviously bad for business, right? So they're able to get the NBA to relocate, finish their season here. Then they've got the MLS figure finishing their soccer season here. I'm not a huge soccer fan, I apologize, whoever's watching. Um, but yeah, let's go check it out, see what we can find out, show you guys what's, where they're staying, kind of give you some proximity on where the bubble and what it looks like. We're gonna zip into the golf club. Right now? Uh, not now, I'm gonna, yeah, when we go in the golf club, I'll we'll let you pop in the back. What's the golf club? The golf course. There's like three golf courses right here. Dude, I don't listen. Oh, uh, okay. I know you don't know Disney, but yeah. there's there's three golf courses right here. The Palm, Magnolia, and Oak, Oak Trail. Are these in the bubble? These are, they are, they're allowed to golf. They're allowed to golf? Yeah. These athletes but are they're not, little babies, I know. dude. Here, go ahead, get that, get that if you can. Wait, hold up. Hey, good morning. Are they letting people in right now? Um, only if you have a reservation. What are you here for? Checking things out, like, things, like opening up and stuff like that? No, no. Actually, we're, we, we do have guests that are staying here, but the, most of the resort is close to either reservations or the NBA. Oh, the NBA. Okay. Yeah, All right, so just, just spin around? Yeah, you can just do it. You turn around. Is DVC open right now? Um, the, the villas themselves? Yeah. yeah. We have guests that are staying. Oh, they are, okay. And then they're allowed to use the hotels and stuff like that, the amenities. Yeah, the only thing, well, unfortunately, right now, because it's not been in Have you seen this stuff for Tron, like online? No, I haven't seen any of it, no. So they're doing like, uh, they're modeling it after Shanghai, so you're going to sit on these like light cycles, and then it's a roller coaster all the way around. You should punch a, put a photo right here. It's going to be sweet. It's going to be like one of their first, like, I think like thrill coasters. What's the what's the projected date on it? Um, sometime next year. Yeah, sometime next year. They've got they've got so much going on. Like so, they've got Tron. They just redid the Magic Kingdom, the castle, Cinderella's castle, which had like a lot of contention. Some people loved it, some people don't. Um, they've got Star Wars Hotel. They've got Guardians of the Galaxy at Epcot. They've got. Um, a new hotel over at the Swan and Dolphin. There's just a lot of infrastructure stuff going on right now. That you guys should check out when you, uh, when you come visit. Come visit us. It'll be fun. So uh, basically, a lot of stuff going on. We can't get inside the bubble. The bubble is seriously locked down. We're gonna go try one more hotel. So they've got the Grand Floridian. They've got the Grand Torino Yacht Club, and then everybody's playing over at Wild World of Sports. They're just kind of busting back and forth, and uh, they're supposedly doing a really good job. Nobody's gotten COVID yet, so. Hey, how's it going? Are you guys open right now? No, we're closed. You're closed? The whole resort? Yeah, the whole resort is closed. Is this, uh, okay, got it. All right, thank you. Yeah, you can make a U-turn. Okay, we'll do. So, dude, so I think that one, obviously there's a lot more people there staying. He shut it down. Like, he was like, yeah, there was no way we were getting in that bubble. No, the other guy was like, uh, do you have a reservation? Come on in. And then this one's like, uh, no, please leave. <laughs> Don't even look this way. <laughs> All right, let's go check out. As, as soon as he's like, how tall are you? <laughs> You're not in the NBA. You're not in the NBA. I'm 6'1". <laughs> Ish. <laughs> All right, so that's it. So Orlando's starting to open up. We've got NBA here, the MLS here. The parks are starting to open back up at a limited capacity, but it still feels really good. Doesn't it feel good? 
which is great. Yeah, man, the parks feels like good to have life in the city a bit more. So I'm excited for things to continue to open up. Hopefully, as the numbers for COVID continue to drop. So listen, subscribe to our channel. We're putting out stuff every single week. We're doing real estate reviews. We're doing area reviews. Just kind of, kind of giving you an inside look into living here in Orlando. Make sure you like the video. It lets us know that you care. We'll see you guys on the next video. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Give me another whoosh. <laughs> Ready? Whoosh. Yo. <laughs>